Good morning. Question for you today. How do you keep going when things get really tough? When you're faced with the illness of a loved one, or maybe they're passing. When you've been given a diagnosis that frightens you. When you're struggling uh, to make it in life. I mean, how do you get through? To me, one of the things that's so inspiring is to be in a worship space like we have here at Christ the King. I love the stained glass windows. I love many of the symbolic things like the Paschal candle, you know, and it's beautiful stand to say the Lord has risen. No matter what happens in my life, my future is good. Um, I love the baptismal font right in the center of our church because it reminds us that his acceptance of us, his love for us is really at the center of our faith. Nothing can take that away. No disease, no hardship, no loss can take away the fact that you are in your baptism a beloved child of God, an heir of eternal life. Nothing can take that away. And I just love a setting like that where there's so many things we can see that remind us. That's why images are so important. I love children's messages right on Sunday because they help us to see what I'm trying to say in the message or what whoever the pastor is that preaching is preaching that day. The children's message makes it real. The children's message makes it physical for us. And one of the great images in hymnody is Rock of Ages. And uh, we're going to continue on with our hundred favorite hymns. And here's the story behind Rock of Ages. Here's what the author writes. Where do you run when life becomes difficult? Where do you seek shelter from the storms that rage? Whether we're struggling with financial distress, relationship issues, or health battles, we all experience moments when we simply want to hide. We long to be tucked away safely somewhere. The idea behind the hymn, Rock of Ages, came to the Reverend Augustus Toplady when he was caught in a storm while traveling along a gorge in England in 1763. As he hid in the crevice of the rock to protect himself from the raging storm, the title and initial lyrics came to him. The words of his song give us such a vivid mental image of what David must have had in mind when he referred to God as his rock of refuge. That's from Psalm 94, verse 22. David, too, had spent some time hiding in the clefts of rocks. Although he was often hiding from enemies, the safety he found was the same. As followers of Christ, we can find protection in the presence of the Rock of Ages. Just like Toplady and David hid in the cleft of an actual rock, we can run to God, our rock and our refuge, to find shelter from the storms of life. He will, as the hymn says, allow us to hide ourselves in him. This hymn speaks to our greatest protection of all. We are hidden from the wrath of God. Covered in the blood of Jesus, we are made pure and saved from the penalty of sin. It is called the double cure in the hymn. Whatever you are encountering today, you can run to the rock of ages. Isn't that good to know? I love that. I love to be reassured in the midst of uncertainty. Uh, these are tough times right now. And to know that we have that identity as God's child, to know that there is a, a, a cleft in the rock where we can hide and find safety is all important. Let's pray today. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you love us and that you have given us protection in this dangerous world. Not so much from bad things happening to us, O oh Lord, but that you promise to be with us and eventually to take us out of this world to yourself. Lord, be with us as we face the storms of life today. Help us, Lord, to always trust in you and to find our shelter in your love. We ask these things in the name of our friend, our brother, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, God bless you. Hope the week's going well for you. Have a great Wednesday.